And so we're going to build build up from something that's quite simple. Um, it's got a little bit of coordination in it and just keep adding elements um, that are going to start with us doing stuff all in unison and then we'll put a bit of phasing in later on. So the first part of this is that you're going to play, if you can play, um, just going to be using your thighs and your knees. I want you to play five notes on your thighs and at the last sixth stroke on your knee. So if you start with your right hand, it will go like this. Okay, should we try that? Three, four. And then do it the other way around. So lead with your left hand. Now. And you, so we're just going to roll that backwards and forwards for a little bit. So I'll just start doing it. And just don't let it speed up. Accent the first note. And the fourth note. Great, just stop there. So just all the time where we're doing this stuff, trying to get used to how it feels in your body. So that, that you know, we all, we all lean to the right and then we all lean to the left and get used to this. It's all about internalizing the rhythm. What we're gonna try doing now is dropping an eighth note out of the fourth pattern, the fourth time around the pattern. So I'll just demonstrate that first. I'll go one, two, three, four. We'll try doing that all together. I'll, I'll count them out just for everyone's aiding everyone. When I, so when I say four, that's the one that you're going to make sure to, and you just take one of the rests <coughs> off the end of it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now. Four. Okay, and stop there, that's great. Okay, you guys, can you just play this, just play straight through without dropping a beat on the fourth one? And we're gonna put the phasing pattern in. So you guys, you just play straight through. And when you hear the, you'll hear the cycles come back together. And when they come back together, you're just gonna play straight on. And you guys are gonna do the four patterns and, and the, the four bars dropping a beat on the last bar, okay? So going straight first, dropping a beat first, okay? One, two, three, four. So the next thing, let's just try doing this next thing. So we're going to play eight, and on the last one, you drop two beats out. So just to show you what that turnaround is like, I'll do two, two times around the pattern, and on the second one, I'm going to drop the, <coughs> drop the last two beats out. One, two, three, four. Eight. Eight. 
cool. Okay. Should we just try, if we're doing this in stages, let's try uh, just going straight and doing the doing the eight times round dropping two out, yeah? So you guys just play straight this time round and we'll try the switch that way. Okay, one, two, three, four. stop us there but we understand how those things work together you can start to hear those two patterns now we'll try putting all three versions of the rhythm together you three are just going to play the straight rhythm that the whole thing is grounded off we will drop one beat every four cycles and you guys drop two beats every eight cycles and hopefully if we manage to stay tuned in to what we're all doing as an ensemble all these things will phase together and, and come back together and we'll play in unison at the end if we do get to it successfully to a successful unison we play four times and then stop one two three four <laughs> 